Hey everybody, welcome in. If this is your first video, welcome back if it is not. Either way, I'm really excited that you're here. I'm really grateful you decided to spend just a little bit of your day with me today. Today we are opening this giant Christmas tree full of wishables and I can't even stand it. I'm just so excited. So if you wanna open it too, let's just get started, shall we? I'm Rachel and this is Attainable Disney. So this puppy here doesn't even fit in the frame. Let's talk about this puppy. This is a Wishables Advent Calendar. So I guess the idea is, so you can see, so there's like little doors. So, you know, I guess the idea with the advent calendar is that the 12 days before Christmas, I'm supposed to open one door each day and take out one wishable. False. That is false for many reasons. Because one, I'm probably the least patient person on the planet. Two, that's dumb. Three, the 12 days before Christmas, I'll be in Disneyland. I'm not like bringing this. No, dumb. So I'm just going to open it. And we're going to open all of it. And I'm going to show you guys all of it now. This has been coming sort of in and out of stock on Shop Disney. So it's possible that you could get one. I know they don't make it easy, but it is possible that you can still get one. And I know that they have been in stock at Disney World. I know I've seen a lot online that people are getting them like at the Emporium. So definitely just continue to keep an eye on Shop Disney or, you know, reach out if you have like a personal shopper, you know, they're all over the place. So, um, you know, keep an eye out. Um, also, you know, unlike other Wishable series, there's no secrets here. So um, every, every one of these is the same. No, no variants, no chasers, right? So everybody's calendar will be the same. I can't even, this is like, okay. So number one here at the top. So push it and you can see it's like that. It's like, it's like giving birth. The calendar is giving birth to a wishable. Except the tag is stuck. I don't know if this is on purpose. Oh, no, I see it. Okay. Yeah, so they are like, you know, those little like plastic things. It's like stuck in there. Okay. Here we go. So spot number one. Gingerbread castle with I love the peppermint mini in the middle of her forehead, just like like a third eye. Okay, spot two. So spot two, we've got our little Dale, the elf, with his peppermint belt, cute. Um, so, you know, guys, I know that when this first came out, there was a lot of people saying that these were like mini wishables, like they weren't full size wishables. So I just wanna let you know, they are full size wishables. So don't listen to anybody that tells you different. They really shove them in there. Which 
trying to find a way to just open this whole box because Here's what it looks like. <laughs> Here's all their butts. <laughs> Cause I'm a 12 year old boy. I laugh at butts. Oh God. Next we have Dale in a very similar elf costume with his peppermint belt. No, I'm sorry, this is Chip. This is Chip. Don't yell at me, this is Chip. Here we've got Daisy. And here we've got Donald. So Daisy without her bow is strange. It's almost like the only way to tell them apart is that she has eyelashes. <laughs> I like the wink. And look at he's holding a little gingerbread Mickey. Again, why? So this is so strange. Look at her random, like the random peppermint on her shirt, but it's like a screen print, right? It's like drawn on or whatever. Where like everybody else, it's like sewn on. I don't, I don't follow. A creepy ornament. I don't really get, I don't really get what's happening here. Like it has ears, but it's like pointy on the bottom and then whatever this is. A peppermint, that's cute. I like that the peppermint is licking itself. Even the peppermint is like, I'm delicious. Oh. Mm. Homer, stop picking at it. Oh, but I'm so sweet and tasty. <sighs> this is interesting. So here's a wreath with a face. And like the little like holly berries, I guess, are our Mickey heads. This is like the least soft wishable I've ever touched. Like these, look how these, you can like squish them up in your whole hand. I mean, like they're so soft. This is very hard. This is not squishy. Also, who feels like they missed a really big opportunity to just make this the wreath? from Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, Ludo. So like his, like his little antler headband. So look, so his, his peppermint is embroidered. So now we've seen three types of, of peppermints. We've seen the, the screen print peppermint, the sewn on felt peppermint, and now the fully embroidered peppermint. Goofy. And he, we're back to the screen print peppermints. Of course, the last two, Mickey and Minnie themselves. We've got Mickey in a gift box popping out. Look at him, he's so pleased with himself. <laughs> I just, like, he's so pleased. Look at him, he thinks, He's like, this is the funniest prank ever. I'm gonna jump out of this box. And then there's Minnie with the sewn on felt peppermint. So guys, that's everything that's in the Wishables advent calendar. So we've got mostly your classic characters, Mickey, Minnie, Chip, Dale, Donald, Daisy, uh, Pluto, Goofy, right? And then some special sort of holiday accoutrement, right? Wreath, peppermint, castle, ornament situations. Very cute, uh, very festive. I do not understand the inconsistency in the peppermints. I appreciate the peppermint as the theme, as the tie-in. Everyone has a peppermint on them except for these two. I feel like it would have been easy to just, instead of this weird snowflake, make it a peppermint and like make one of those Mickey's a peppermint. I don't like, everybody has a peppermint except for these two. But I don't understand the inconsistency in the type of peppermint. 
Like, I don't know, I don't get it. What do I know? So guys, let me know your thoughts. Do you want one of these? Have you been trying to get your hands on one of these? Do you have one? Are you waiting until you're supposed to open it to open it? Really? Or do you do like other types of advent calendars? I don't know. I'm not good at it. Those chocolate ones they used to get when you were a kid, I used to do the same exact thing. Who eats one little piece of chocolate a day? Who does that? Goofballs, that's who. So guys, this was super fun. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.